Okay, so we're going to go through the free download procedure on a 9800 running 1612 2S right here. I'm going to do a show AP image and see I have a 3802i, a 3702i, and a 2702i all running 1612 uh, 2S. Um, the 3802 has a backup image of 16.12.4. We're going to upgrade to 17.3.1, and we're going to pre-download first. The first thing we need to do is verify that we are in install mode. We go to software management, and we see that we're in install, install mode because we're going to be installing a bin file. So that's good. Want to make sure that our APs are in they are in local mode. Default tags are okay because we're doing the pre-download and not the efficient. So that's fine. These are all local mode. Everything's good here. So we're going to do this from the CLI. So let me bring up my TFTP server. I have the Windows firewall turned off. And I'll be using TFTP 64. Change my directory to my downloads folder. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to switch over to CLI. We are going to do an install add file command, which will be TFTP, and the IP address 172.16.20 forward slash the name of the file, which is C9800 CL. Uh, I pull that file up. I can't copy paste. So we're going to get the bin file of the 17, which is EL universal, hyphen universal, universal, K9.17, dot, 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 SBA, bin. There we go. Download that. Pull up my TFTP. So we can watch it download. It's starting to download. I'm going to pause the video and when that's done, we'll resume. Okay, we're almost done with the download from TFTP. So just a few more minutes and we should be done. Less than a minute, hopefully. One quick note there is a bug in sixteen twelve two S that prevents downloading from the GUI and CLI based image upgrades is recommended. There is also the option of doing the efficient upgrade if you're using Flex Connect, which we'll do in another video.
All right, looks like it completed. We're at 100%. We'll wait for our successful message to appear on the CLI. Let's finish downloading to boot flash. So I think we're good there. Adding package. Finish copying to boot flash. Performing add on all members. Not sure how long this will take. We have three access points. I will pause the video until it completes. Okay, it looks like we got our completed install output to the screen here as we completed the install add package of 17.3.1. I think the next step now is to, we can do a show AP image, and we can see that we still don't have anything staged. So we're going to do a AP image pre-download command. If you put all of the files on there, to get all the APs upgraded, rather. So our pre-download is now in progress. I will pause the video until that completes. Okay, we're back, and I see that the pre-download message has appeared. It was successful. So we are going to take a look at our show AP image command. We can see that we now have our primary image is still 16.12.2s, but we now have our backup image staged. So it was successfully pre-downloaded. We are now going to run the AP image swap command. Incidentally, you can run these per AP using the um, a, uh, AP name specifically, but we're just going to swap them all by using AP image swap. So they should now be swapped. So if we do a show AP image, we have now swapped them until we reboot. However, the code will still be on 16.12.2s. So before we do that, I need to actually install the package on the controller. So we should be able to do that using the install activate command, install activate and the file. And I believe we do flash, sure it's in the boot flash, boot flash. 
refresh, and the file name should be, the package name would be, um, actually let's do a dir first. Let's see what we called it. Uh, the package is, where is the package? There it is. Actually more, that's the wrong package. Here we go. There we go. So we have, uh, it looks like we have the 17.3 SPA.pkg. So we say install, activate, file, and flash. I think we put a forward slash in there. Let's give that a try. C9800 dash CL dash mono dash universal a9 a.17.03 spa pkg let's give that a try Well, oh, that didn't work. So let me see if we have the bin file in here. Technically, we should have the bin. Do we have the bin? I don't see the bin. EPK. I don't see the bin. All right, we'll just use the GUI. I'm not sure what's going on with that. We'll just use the GUI here, add bin. Let's go ahead and do an install. Install deactivate. Uh, install deactivate uh, file. Uh, actually, I could probably do them all from here. Let's see if I can do that. Okay. Well, let's just give this a shot. Should be able to do HTTPS, boot flash, select my bin file from my directory, which will be not that guy, 17.3, this guy right here. And we're going to do a download and install. Let's see what that does. I'm going to pause the video while that completes. So it appears that we have to clean up our inactive files to complete the process. So I'm going to try to uh, install the new inactive. And then we'll try it again. And while that's removing the software, I'll pause the video. And we're being prompted to remove the files. And so, oh, we do have a bin file on there. Oh, well. Okay, so we'll just remove them. And then we'll do it again. So the install activate file image command has to be a bin file. I tried a package file. Actually, actually has to be the bin file. But this is fine. We'll clean it up and then we'll just re-download it again. So we completed the install remove, which means we can probably try this again and it should work. So we're going to select the file again just to make sure. This is the 17.3 bin file. 
going to download and install. And I'll pause the video while that's downloading and installing. Okay, we're back and it looks like we've completed the upgrade. We just have to reboot. Looks like removing those inactive files did the trick, but incidentally, we could have just installed act, install activate the file, uh, the bin file. We could have ran the command install activate file and the bin file, and then we could have install commit and then reload. But since we did it from the GUI, we're going to finish it from the GUI. However, before we do anything, I want to reload the access points. So we're going to do a AP image reset to reboot all of the APs. And then we're going to reload the controller, save configuration and reload. I'll pause the video while the controller reboots. Okay, we're about to come up here. We're going to do an AP, show AP image, and we'll see where we're at. So as soon as our APs start to join here. AP image. Looks like we don't have anything to join yet. Let me bring up the GUI. It's online. And We are now on 17.3. We have one AP that already just joined instantly. Two, we have two. And looks like we got three. Not yet. The 3802 has not come back online yet. We'll see. Comes back online. Looks like we've got one, two, two, and we got one trying to join. All registered and healthy. 3802 is still trying to join. And it joined. Should have three APs now on 17.3.1. Nine build so successful pre download and install and upgrade of the 9800 controller. Thanks, everyone. Talk to you later.